Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and I know I just yesterday posted two TSM videos in the same day, and now in this video, once again, we're going to be talking about TSM, uh, and obviously I know there's a bunch of people that subscribe or watch my videos that are LEC fans or are LCS fans and, and don't want to hear about TSM every single day, or that's not the only thing, or, or whatever, and it's not my intention to become a TSM channel or to only talk about TSM or anything like that, but... On my channel, I do want to talk about the stories that I think are the most interesting, um, that are the most kind of breaking news, that are the most uh, interesting and going to be talked about that I want to talk about, that I think other people want to hear about. Uh, and even though I posted two TSM videos yesterday, there is still more new information coming out that is just as spicy, just as juicy, and, and helps explain and understand the whole situation even more, because TSM is an absolute mess right now, uh, and in this video today, we're going to be going over some stuff that came out uh, even after all those videos I posted yesterday, so hey, I know it's a third TSM video, but give it a chance, I think you guys will enjoy this one, I think it will be very, very interesting, drop a like if you guys do enjoy it, I would appreciate that a ton, and subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content, with that being said, uh, let's get right into this. You know, I am germ TSM edition. Uh, so I just want to start out by saying, Hey, TSM right now, they are this guy. They are the on fire trying to say everything is fine. I know I talked about that a little bit in the last video, and I think I'll talk about this a little bit more in the future. Um, you know, the fact that, uh, so many, uh, what, we're what we were hearing from TSM was like, hey, everything's good, everything's fine, you know, we're scaling, we're ramping up, we expected a slow start, like, what are you guys talking about? I know Dunk came out and is, like, attacking the media, like, oh, don't listen to these shit takes from media members, they're just trying to create narratives, like, hey, I've been in the meetings, I've been in the rooms, everything's going great. Okay, that was all just noise, that was all just talk, and we have now found out that today, in a big, big way, things are on fire, things are a mess. Uh, yes, Shenny has been benched. Yes, uh, Yersan is going to be playing in the LCS. And yes, the reasons they gave didn't make a ton of sense to me. And I said that in my video yesterday. I was like, hey, if you guys are rebuilding, if you guys are developing synergies, if you guys are practicing ramping up, and you've already acknowledged spring split doesn't matter at all, and you don't care if you lose every single game as long as you're improving and getting better, then why would you bench a player after just four games? Um, why are you not building synergy? Why are you not scaling up? Why are you not ramping up? That made absolutely no sense. So, you know, TSM saying that they're in the age of transparency and they're going to explain stuff to us and that they're going to be open and honest with us, uh, doesn't seem to be going so good so far because it seems like they were not very honest with us. Uh, and, and some of the news we got, uh, was, was this from Travis Gafford. He said sources, a couple things, a member of the TSM coaching staff was released this week. What the heck? What's going on? Again, we're four games into the season, and they're already firing coaches? This isn't what we heard. This isn't what Dunk was tweeting about. This wasn't anything that Dominic said to us. This wasn't anything that we got from any of the TSM staff members. That wasn't very transparent of them. Uh, and TSM players were said to not be scrimming as of this morning and early afternoon. This is yesterday. This is February 16th that apparently TSM just canceled scrims because things were a dumpster fire. Now, maybe they were doing some internal scrims. You know, may, I, I don't know exactly. The, the wording doesn't tell all. Um, but he says, obviously, this follows the organization's announcement that uh, Shenny and Yurson were going to be swapping LCS and Academy duties. What the heck? I don't know. Let's let's at least give Travis a chance to say what what he has, uh, you know, to say about this whole situation. Maybe he'll add some stuff to it. But that's that's pretty crazy. That you know, this doesn't sound good. Hello, everyone. Uh, just a quick note to talk about some news. A quick news hit. Uh, so earlier today, TSM announced uh, that Shenny would be heading towards Academy. I hope I pronounced that correct. And Yersan will be playing in LCS. Obviously, a lot of people noticed that. It sounds like there are additional shakeups that are happening within the organization. Uh, because my sources have told me that there's been uh, a member of the LCS coaching staff that was dismissed from the organization this week. And additionally, the LCS team was said to not be scrimming this morning and early afternoon. So uh, no information on uh, why they weren't scrimming or what the details are there. But it seems as though there's further changes happening uh, within the team, uh, the LCS team at TSM. So I guess we'll see how things go over the course of this weekend. Uh, but it only took a couple weeks, I guess, for them to be making some changes. Uh, we will uh, keep covering this. So, yeah, pretty crazy. I mean, he didn't have too much to add there. He pretty much said it all in the tweet. But 
That's very, very interesting. Obviously, the first question is who, you know, the, the LCS coaching staff, I don't think is that big. Obviously, there's not that many people on a coaching staff. Um, maybe we'll find out this weekend uh, whose face is not there anymore. As a lot of other people have said, damn, this is going to be a pretty banger episode of TSM Legends this next week. Maybe we'll get to see some of that. I, I don't know. Obviously, they can't show too much of it. So, hey, I mean, again, uh, it's kind of another knock at them about the whole transparency thing or whatever. But I think we can kind of infer why scrims were canceled today because things are an absolute mess over there. Why would a coach be fired? Is it an argument with within the coaches, an argument with management, an argument with players that they got into? You know, what the heck is going on? This whole weird, crazy thing. But just another thing that doesn't sound good for TSM. And again, all the noise they're talking to us is about how things are fine. Hey guys, this is exactly what we expected. Hey guys, we're scaling. Hey guys, we're going to be okay. Um, while very clearly behind the scenes, things were, were not going okay. And you know, I hate to say it, but these are the types of things I've been talking about for months. So many issues with the organization, top down. So many issues with management, coaching, players, systems, all this stuff. And Dominic Kaus has said a lot about it as well. And he recognizes these things. And, and I hope he is working to fix them. Some of the things might not even be able to be fixed. Some of the things he might not have the solution for. Some of the things hopefully he will fix, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Time will tell. Um, but I really feel kind of like vindicated or validated or whatever in, in recognizing all the issues this team has had. And I think for the longest time, you know, maybe Bjergsen was covering them up or maybe some of the success of the organization was covering up or, or maybe the spending of the organization or the name or the resource or whatever. But now we're, we're really seeing in real time all this start to, start to unravel and fall apart. Um, we also have... This other big, big news coming out that a ton of people are talking about on the TSM subreddit, on the LCS subreddit. Um, apparently, these are comments from Shenny's stream. Uh, I, I don't know if this was from February 15th or 16th. I also don't know if he said this in English or said this, I assume, in Chinese and then it was translated. So maybe there's some issues with translation. Maybe he said in English. You know, I, I don't know. I wasn't able to find clips or anything. Um, but this is what one guy says. And I mean, everyone is kind of taking it and, and running with it on Team Solo Mid subreddit and on the LCS subreddit. So uh, again, take this with a grain of salt potentially, but but I haven't really seen any pushback on this. People seem to be you know taking this as fact. But this guy says from Shenny's stream uh, before the sorry tweet. Shenny tweeted out sorry after he got benched. He said that one. NA has too little practice compared to LDL and LPL. Again, that's worded as not, we have less practice. It's worded as we have too little practice. Uh, he also said Champions Q wait time is too long. Um, I've heard that, uh, I think people said that supports actually have the longest Q time uh, in Champions Q because it's the most queued position. Um, so, you know, there's more supports than there is games. So supports have to wait longer. That's probably not fun for him. And he also said support is not really a role in solo queue. I don't know exactly what that means, but again, it doesn't sound like he's liking North American solo queue um, or maybe solo queue in general. He says support is not really a role. I don't know. Um, he said, never in his career has he went on a four game losing streak so uh you know he's been a guy who's had a lot of success a lot of winning a lot of that stuff maybe he's handling losing not very good uh he also said when the team is winning too many people are talking in the comms and when the team is losing no one talks uh, i mean yeah that's definitely a sign of you know lack of leadership lack of strong kind of people um to be able to quiet comms when when things are going good and say hey guys, shut up. Only say the things are important. You know, get the important stuff out there. And I know that's something that Bjergsen um, was really, really all about in the past. Um, and then also, hey, when we're losing, somebody's got to step up. You can't just go quiet. You can't just kind of wussy out on us or whatever. Like, you still got to talk. You still got to, you know, that's how comebacks happen. Um, you know, you can't just celebrate the, the victories and then, um, you know, fizzle out in the losses or whatever. So, hey, he's not happy with how the comms are. He said he wants a shot call this weekend and it's going to look different. Well, hey, you're going to be an academy now. Uh, and he said shot calling is a strength, but others don't seem to trust him. So he seems a little bit frustrated with his teammates. Uh, and again, voicing these frustrations publicly, probably not a great look, probably not something his teammates or TSM love. Um, but yeah, he's saying, hey guys, they, they don't trust me. And then he says, um, here also, I did not mean to click that. He says, NAC support role different from how the LDL and LPL sees it. So, you know, he's making a lot of comparisons back to China. Sounding like, hey, maybe he's a little bit homesick. Maybe he's, you know, thinking back to the good old days. Maybe the grass is looking a little greener, you know, across the river or not river, ocean, whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I was gonna say across the pond, but that makes it sound like England. So I tried to switch it up real quick. Um, but Shenny saying a lot of not very good things. And it is seeming more and more like Shenny is having a very, very rough and bad tenure with TSM. I know TSM said they're sending him down to Academy to give him time to adjust at North America or whatever. It seems like there's a lot more than that going on. So again, this is another 
another strike that I have against TSM in terms of their transparency and everything. It doesn't seem like they are being all that transparent or honest with, you know, the media, the fans in general. But again, we don't, uh, I guess, entirely know what's going on. But man, this sounds really, really bad, the kind of stuff that Shenny is saying. And it sounds like, hey, his tenure at TSM might not last very long. So this whole development, uh, you know, gain synergy, rebuild it might, it might not be lasting that long because, hey, this offseason, Spica might leave. It sounds like Shenny might not even make it through this season with TSM. Um, who knows what Hooney's going to do? Like, you know, you might not be left with very many pieces of this rebuild here very soon. And then you might be rebuilding all over again. Um, you know, like I, I've said this many times before, you know, betting on prospects is already hard enough. Like every prospect could live up to their potential, could not. You do an international prospect, especially one from China or Korea, where it's really a ton of culture shock and language barriers and, and so many things changing, you're adding so many more variables, it makes it way, way, way riskier. Like at, at face value, I love the idea of, hey, China's a really good region, let's go get some young Chinese players. But I don't think TSM really envisioned all the potential issues and all the things that could go wrong. And again, just two weeks into the season, they're already seeing a lot of the issues, a lot of the things that could go wrong. I thought TSM's plan was set up for failure ever since the beginning. That's why you can look back on my channel. Months ago, I was saying, I hate what TSM's doing this off season. I don't agree with it. I don't think it's going to work out. I think it is set up for failure. And again, it feels a little like I feel bad for the players, but I don't feel bad for the org. And in some ways it feels really, really good that I was not, you know, we'll see if how right I was about all this, you know, it's going to play out over the next couple weeks, months, years, but I feel like so far, you know, a lot of what I've been telling you guys for the past couple months is playing out right in front of our eyes. Uh, and again, it's very, very disappointing, especially as a longtime fan of the organization, but it's very entertaining. It makes for good content. My tweets are popping off. I hope my videos are going to pop off. You know, things going good. And as obviously a guy who just covers the news, covers stories, uh, you know, it's good for me to have more stuff to talk about. And I do think this stuff is very, very interesting. You know, I, I really can't look away from Twitter right now. I'm looking for the latest TSM update. I'm looking for what's going on. Uh, but yeah, stuff's not going good. Uh, a member of TSM's coaching staff apparently was fired. Shenny doesn't seem happy. He just got benched. Uh, TSM's already 0-4, and it seems like things are only getting worse but that is pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it i would appreciate that so so much uh leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this whole situation is tsm screwed are they still going to be okay is this going to work out i don't know i'd love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions subscribe tip today and all my latest content hope we catch you guys in the next one but until then peace